Michael. Thank you for joining me on the newest episode of Single Chefin. Let's dig into it. What are we gonna be doing today? Today we're gonna be focusing on beef ribs and I'm gonna be using some Oriental Five Spice. Definitely a go-to. Also gonna be incorporating into the marinade for the ribs. Spicy Plum. Spicy Plum is a blend of plums, apples, ginger, onion, and a bit of red pepper. Really, really good condiment here. Some fish sauce. Fish sauce is also um, great at giving you that umami flavor. Some people aren't big on it. I do like to incorporate it into some of my dishes. Um, also, another go-to, chili garlic sauce. You gotta use that. And then I'm gonna, for a little bit of spice, the sriracha salt. Oriental infused coleslaw. So we're gonna be using all the typical suspects, carrot, um, a cabbage, red onion. I'm going to be making the sauce using some mayonnaise, wasabi, that's the oriental um, infusion that I'm gonna be doing, and some sour cream for creaminess. So um, this will go a long way. And then for my appetizers today, I have some fresh jalapenos that I bought from the market, a bunch of um, Kobe Jack cheese. So I have some left over and they actually are cute. So they fit perfectly into this, super simple. Show you guys how to prep these, basically cut off the tops, de-seed them, stuff them, throw them in the oven. We'll also be making some sashito peppers. These are super, super simple. Drop them in a pan with a little bit of olive oil, some fresh garlic. I'm gonna throw a little bit of chili flakes on there. These aren't spicy, but one in every 10 is super spicy. So that's also part of the fun. Let's get into marinating our lovely looking beef ribs. Last iron pan, that's what we're gonna be using for this. We'll sear them on the stove top and then throw them into the oven. Now, let's get into this. I wanna do the ribs first, all right? So first thing we're gonna do with the ribs, we're gonna put the salt on there. You kinda wanna layer the flavors here, so follow me. Okay. So. Great, if you guys don't know what's in Oriental Five Spice, let me read it off to you here. Cinnamon, anise, uh, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves. So that is a, a punch of flavor right there. Let me season the other side. From is going to Chinatown, my favorite, favorite restaurant in Chinatown, Hop Key. I've been going there since I was a kid. I was introduced by my sensei when I used to um, practice Kung Fu way, way back in the days. But um, yeah, that's been my go-to there for the roast duck and the salt and pepper squid. Watercress, delicious. That's all you need. You're basically like living the dream at that point. Great, all right, so we're gonna do the back first. So now let's do the wet ingredients. This is, hasn't been Fish sauce, super pungent flavor. Don't overdo it. I don't even like touching this too much, but whatever, we're gonna get into it. This is the plump sauce. And with the met. Mmm, delicious. Again, don't go too heavy, just give it a little touch. I hope you guys are seeing this, okay? Cool. So we got all of that. Now, mix. Can you guys see that? So that's once. Turn it around and we'll do the same thing on this side here with the same wet ingredients. So what did we do? Always marinate your meat earlier and just let it sit. The longer it sits, the better it tastes, the more flavor it picks up. But uh, this is kind of an impromptu thing for me right now and I'm super hungry. All right, so these are perfect, all right? See how they look? I really, really wish you guys can smell these, but wow, amazing. Uh, guys still with me? Still with you, happy you guys are here. All right, let's actually get into the coleslaw real quick. So coleslaw, I just want to do that because the longer, again, that the uh, sauce that I'm gonna make, the dressing rather, sits on it, the better it is. Nice, okay. I'm gonna use my cleaver here. This part off, this is no good, no bueno, okay, shred. It. So we started phase two in New York. I mean, for me, 
My other hustle is real estate. Super, super happy that we did start phase two. Kind of weird. Got a great buyer who's looking for an amazing property, which I'm already helping her on. So yeah, as we get back into the swing of things, thank God we are. Um, just be cautious, people. I mean, don't forget this thing just happened and it is gonna be coming back. So I mean, just practice caution, but we have to live our lives. I totally, totally get that. Okay, so now we got this done. Let's do some carrots real quick. With my trusty little grinder here. Make put this into into like quarters or half. Be your opinion. All right, now we got a bunch of carrots. See how easy that was. Boom. Cool. Little trusty bowl over here. Cool. Got this in there. We want to get some of the moisture out of this, so let's do that. Not to mention, great flavor. So so. In. Cleaning the first, just the um, cabbage right now, and then I'll do the same. Carrots go in. Let's do the same thing with the red onion. Let's see how this comes out actually first. Man, yeah, that's doable. Incorporate that, not too much, should be good since it's smushed up like that, that'll get everywhere. All right, first thing we're gonna go in with, mayonnaise. We have you on the mayonnaise, then we go our cream. Good stuff. What's up? All right. Let's do a little sriracha salt, give it a little kick, and just a touch of five spice. Fish sauce. Just a dab. Like, for real, don't go heavy with that. Mix it up. I'm back. Oh, no, no, no. I got chia seeds. Chia seeds. Throw some chia seeds in there. Why not? Bagel seasoning. Cooking. You do what you do what you think feels right. Hopefully <laughs> it is what you taste it, but once you build your flavor profiles, your palate gets refined, you start figuring out what's gonna work, what doesn't. I've gotten really good at that along with the years. So let's see. Good. Let's focus on pino popper super quick, okay? Jalapeno popper, jalapeno, boom. Take it, cut the top off, boom. Okay, so now you have the little pocket of seeds. You have veins that go through this. Try to detach the veins. You can't get out. Just kind of turn it without like opening the flesh. You see, you get all of that out. Take a look inside. Take a look inside. Let's see, you see there are seeds in there. This is why you need to rinse it out. But just make sure you cut off all the veins. That's one, okay? Let me rinse in your clean. You guys just saw all of that, right? We're gonna take a slice of cheese or a few cubes of cheese. Seriously, watch these seeds because they will light your ass up. Like for real, for real. Take this. That should be cool. Take this over here, put it on the top like that. We're gonna just put a little olive oil and do the rest of these. So I'm not gonna burden you guys with that. I'll finish these up and I'll be back so when we start cooking the ribs after they've been marinated and the meal's coming along. We're back. I cleaned up the jalapenos. I actually put um, prosciutto on four of them. Um, what I typically do, just so the tops don't come off, as you can see, I put some toothpicks here just to hold them in place. But yeah, here is that. Preheat the oven for the ribs, which we're going to sear off in the cast iron pan like I told you guys. And we'll throw these in the oven with them. Just put some olive oil. So, what's next? Get into the sashito peppers, one of my favorites. 
So I went ahead already and fresh garlic, a fair amount of fresh garlic as you guys can see here. So good olive oil, okay? garlic drop that in there like so give it a little flavor shishito pepper one in every ten it's super spicy so it's come on let's take it let this brown a little bit smells great already watch your garlic you don't want your garlic to get too overcooked you see that brownness now step back because these are a little wet still something telling me that this one's gonna be the hot one. Gee, I don't know why, but I'm assuming that that's the one. And this smells crazy. And again, super simple. I'm not gonna eat all of these now, but you can cook them off and then you can put them in a little bit of vinegar with some more fresh garlic, let them sit. That's something my mom loves to do with her eggplants and stuff like that. It's getting, it smells spicy. I'm gonna put a little lemon pepper just to dash, just to give it a little acidity. See that? See the way that's looking? That's how you want your shishito peppers to look. All right, so this is Dunzo Cook. So yeah, I added that before. Believe it or not, I built this thing in eighth grade. I just used it, so you never know. I mean, I gave it life. It was meant for something. Just down the road. Here it is. The jalapeno poppers. Take a little bit of oil, sprinkle it. Hot for it. Right? Smells great. Like for real, for real. Let's check the heat. We're gonna sear these off. What are we looking for, guys? We need that sear. We need that sear in our life. All right. So, a little oil. Cool. I want it to get super hot. Cool. All right. Let's see what we're working with here. Let's put the big boy down. Always presentation, face down first. Yeah. Perfect. All right, we're gonna let that come together, people. This is, this is magic happening, as you see. You see that right there? Can you see this right here? I wish you could smell it, it's not even cooked. It just hit the fire for like a few seconds. And it smells, like Chinatown in here. That's what's up, that's what I'm going for. So we take these, we already got oil on them, right? Just make sure that they're nice and coated with the oil. These guys, they're done, they're going in the oven. I got my oven at 375, I'm gonna put them up top. Smell crazy good. I'm gonna be honest, this is the first time I tried that plum sauce, I saw it. Never saw a spiced plum jam before. So I was like, let me try it. And I'm really happy that I did because it smells so serious in here. Mess with it. Should we mess with it? Leave it, Sam, or mess with it? Let me see. Woo! No, it ain't need enough. See that? You can, come, you can finish off. All right. There you go. There's our rib. Real quick love before it goes in the oven and I'm gonna leave it to do its thing. A little bit more of the five spice. Yo. A little bit more of that fish sauce real quick. Just a dab. Sriracha, salt, we're done guys. That's it. Call it a wrap. Let everything come together. Go chill, get your mind right, do whatever you do to get in your zone. Cause that's what I'ma do. We're gonna have a lovely meal. See? Like, Stick with me, your food's always gonna be flavorful. Trust, trust me. So you guys can see everything again. Boom, take this. Very simple, drop it in the oven. Coleslaw with wasabi, oriental infused. Coleslaw wrap. Sashito peppers, guns up. Ribs in there. Jalapeno poppers coming together. Pretty quick. Stick around, you'll see the finished product. Thanks for being with me.